my good friends, precious brothers and sisters in the Lord. This is Pastor John Samuel from India, but I'm sharing the love of Jesus Christ through the cross TV. And now I am in Duarte in USA, California. This is wonderful time. Wow, I'm so happy to talking with you today about God. I'm so exciting because God is loving us so much day by day. This is the fresh day for us. This is awesome day. Oh, we are enjoying the presence of God. This day, God has made and he has given us. My friends, let's all rejoice. Let's all have a wonderful time. This is Pastor John Samuel, and I'm so happy talking with you. We are doing a ministry over in India, and we are taking care of orphan children around in India, around our areas, neighborhood. And also, we would like to and love to uh, take care of so many orphan children. And orphan children, they are enjoying the love of God in my house every day. We are building up a house for them. God said, build up a house for them. Hallelujah. That's why I'm building up a house for them, my friends. God is so good today even. Today also God is looking at and our hearts. We are enjoying the presence of God, my friends. God is so good. According to the James chapter 1 verse 27, I am taking care of children. And also according to the Bible, I'm taking care of the, I, I, I'm taking care of the, you know, ministry. And also we are reaching unreached people according to the Bible. Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 through 20. Jesus said, go ye into the hands of the earth. Everywhere preach the gospel and make the disciples and teach them what I taught with you. That's why I'm here, my friends. God is so good with us. We are doing wonderful ministry. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy doing it because I have received it from God. Everyone, those who are living on this earth, only on the earth, you have to do something best and the best and better things to the people, God. Hallelujah. Are you, are you enjoying, my friend? Today, I'm so happy because I'm doing the will of God. I am seeking the kingdom of God every day. And I am so happy because Jesus is my guide. Jesus is my counselor. Jesus is my teacher. Jesus is my protector. Jesus is my sustainer. Because I met him in the 1986 April month. First time I met Jesus. And Jesus came down to the earth to the street where I was. He came down from heaven, my friends, and he met me in the street. I was in the street. I was on the street. I was homeless, and Jesus met me. That, that's why that, that meeting gave me great change. That meeting, he gave me wonderful life. That meeting gave me encouragement. That meeting gave me sound mind and you know holy heart I received from Jesus that's why I'm speaking with you my friends <laughs> I love you my friends to share the word of God today we are going to enjoy the presence of the Holy Spirit let's all pray <laughs> Heavenly Father Holy Spirit God we invite the presence we want to hear from you Lord we want to see miracle after miracle God we want to see success God we want to see victorious life God we want to see people God enjoying your presence we want to see people are coming to you God we want to see people are coming to the life we want to see people are God having thirst and God hungry for the kingdom of God we we preach and we teach and we give encouragement and we share the love of Jesus hallelujah because you are good God you are powerful God 
Speak to us, Lord. We are standing before you. We are waiting for you, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. My good friend, my precious brother, my precious sister, this is the day, your day. This is the day God is loving. This is the day. Today, you are here. This is the day, your day. I'm saying this is the day, your day. Don't bother about tomorrow. Don't think about your fast. Oh, this is the day. You can correct your fast thing. You were yesterday, what you have done, some wrong things. Today, God has given you privilege. God has given, given you an another chance to correct it. Oh, hallelujah. This is a wonderful time, my friends. We are here to correct our lives and to enjoy the life the life of Jesus <laughs> Jesus said I will give you living water hallelujah and also he said I am the living bread hallelujah God gives you all the time the water Jesus said in John's gospel chapter 7 verse 37 38 he said those who come to me those who believe me and I will give them water. The living water will spring up from the bottom of his heart. The living water. You will not be going never, never, never for thirst, my friend. Oh, for the worldly thirst, for smoking, for drinking, for playing cards, for watching bad movies, for reading bad, ugly books. So many times, oh, it is corrupting your spirit. It is corrupting your soul. It is corrupting, corrupting your body. You are going to have a sickness because of that. That's why, that's why Bible says, oh, Exodus chapter 20, verse 1, through some verses, through 20, Bible says, oh, so many commandments are there, but 10 are very precious. But last one says, don't have desire of your brother's wife, of your brother's wealth of your brother's donkey, or field, or house, or anything. My friends, don't have desire in your heart. That's why Jesus said, when you have something, desire, evil desire, lustful desire, about a woman in your heart, then you have committed sin in your heart. My friends, see how Jesus is talking purity. In Jesus, we can find out purity and holiness. He is, he is spotless. He is blameless. He is holy. Jesus is holy. He is talking about purity. You must have pure heart. Then only you can see the kingdom of God and you can see God. You cannot see God without pureness, without holiness. Because God is holy. Bible says God is holy. He is, he is not sinner like us. So many times we commit sin. We do. We, we people do sometimes wrong things. Thinking wrong. Desiring wrongly. And acting wrongly. And doing wrong things towards our brothers and sisters. Bible says you have to correct yourself. You have to ask forgiveness. You have to come to God. You have to clean up everything. First John chapter 1 verse 7 through 9 says, The blood of Jesus Christ cleans up everything. The blood of Jesus Christ cleans up the dirty thoughts, evil desires, and lust of woman, lust of money, lust for you are brothers or sisters possess our house. And so many times, so many times you are sinning against your brother. You are sinning against your God. You are sinning against your parents. You are sinning against your husband. You are sinning against your wife. You are sinning against your neighbors. So many times. That's why 
you are unable to come out from the bondage of Satan, from the bondage of sin, from the bondage of curse. You are, una you are unable, my friend. When you come to Jesus, Jesus gives you grace. And Jesus forgives your sin. And Jesus cleans up everything. Because he paid everything for you. He paid all your debts. You were, he paid all your bills. He paid all your penalty cost. There is no condemnation in Christ. When you come to Jesus, when you receive Jesus, you will have the good life and good conscience and pure heart and, and powerful transformed mind. That's why I'm here and standing before you, my friends. Every day, every day, you have to come to Jesus. Because he is the way. He is the truth. When you know the truth, Jesus said, John's Gospel, chapter 8, and verse 30 to 38, some verses. Jesus said, when you come to know the truth, the truth will set you free. Will set you free. The truth, you must know the truth. Come to Jesus. And Jesus gives you life. The real life. Powerful life. Excellent life. The best life. Victorious life. Are you struggling with the sin? Are you struggling so many times with witchcraft and diseases and sickness and so many, you know, diabetes sometimes? No. So many diseases nowadays. Struggling. Jesus says, I am the living bread. The living bread. The bread gives us strength. Healing also, you know, so many times we eat bread and some, uh, you know, vegetables. Some, some people, they eat meat. And through the food, we receive the strength and power and healing also so many times. And medicine, the Bible says, my friends, Jesus said, my words are life and they are spirit. There is life in the word of God. There is life in the word of Christ. There is life. God said, Exodus chapter 15 verse 26, 27 like. God said, I am the healer. And Jesus healed so many people while he was on this earth. Jesus healed my friends. He is going to heal your broken heart. He is going to heal your soul. He is going to heal your mind. He is going to heal your body right now. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 20 through 23 says, There is a healing in the world. The word of God gives you healing. To your, to your soul. You need in your heart first healing and forgiveness. When you receive forgiveness from God and then you can receive the healing. We need the forgiveness. How can you receive the forgiveness? Bible says, my friends, the word of God says, you can receive the forgiveness through the word of God. How it is possible? The Bible says, you have to Come to Jesus. And you have to, you have to obey to Jesus. And Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6. And verse 16 through 22, 23 says. You have to forgive your brother. You have to forgive your sister. And then you can receive forgiveness. If you are not Forgiving your brother or your sister, you cannot have forgiveness. You cannot have forgiveness. The Matthew chapter 5, verse 21 to 22. And also Mark's, uh, uh, Matthew chapter, Matthew chapter 6, verse 14 and 15 says, You have to forgive your people. You have to forgive your sister, your brother. If you are not forgiving, you will be in hell. If you are not keeping, if, if, you are, if, if you are keeping something, bitterness in your heart, you will be in hell. 
you are in hell, not will be sometimes, but presently sometimes you will be in hell. You will not have peace, joy, love. But when you forgive people, then you will receive forgiveness from God. Mark chapter 11, verse 25 says, when you are forgiving your brother or your sister, you are receiving forgiveness from Father, from above. God is going to forgive you, my friend. Now you can have the peace of God. You can have healing to your body. You can have transformed mind. And you can have powerful life on this earth while you are living on this earth. Through the forgiveness. You have to forgive. First, you have to forgive your brothers. And secondly, my friends, we have to share our love with our beloved ones. Luke chapter 16, verse 19 through 31 says, Bible says, and also chapter 12, verse 16 through 21 says, you have to share your food. You have to share clothes. You have to share your love with your people. Then you will be forgiven. And you will receive more from God. You will receive much more from God. And you, you, you will have the power of God in you. My friends, Jesus is talking about the kingdom of God. Jesus is talking about the holiness of God. Jesus is talking about the victorious life. Jesus is sharing every time something good and the best for you. Today, Jesus is willing to give you good life and healing. And also forgiveness. Come to Jesus. Forgive your brothers and sisters. And share the food with your brothers and sisters. And also believe Jesus Christ. When you come to Jesus Christ. John's Gospel chapter 6 verse 40. And 40. And also 46 through 51 says. Believe Jesus. There is life in Jesus Christ. And come to God. There is no death. John's Gospel, chapter 8, verse 51. There is no death. There is no death. And John's Gospel, 5, 24 says, There is no death. Those who believe on Jesus Christ. There is no death. Only life. Only life, my friends. John's Gospel, chapter 12, verse 44 through 50 says, There is no death. Chapter 6, verse 56 and 57 says, There is no death. Those who believe on me, you are passing, you are passing from the death to the life. You are passing from the darkness to the light. You are passing through the, you know, torment and agony. From the agony, you are passing to the joy, to the heaven, to the peaceful life. You are coming to God. You are receiving something now. And when you believe Jesus, you have to believe Jesus. The word of God says, you have to believe Jesus. You have to come to God. Then only you can receive. You can have the peace of God. You should not hate your brothers. John's gospel, uh, uh, First John chapter 2, 9 through 11, chapter 3, 10 through 12, chapter 4. 20 through 21 verses says, if you are hating your brother, if you are hating your sister, if you are hating your father, if you are hating your parent, mother, anyone, you will be in hell. Don't hate people. Don't kill people. If you are killing, my friends, you are killing some people. The murderer cannot enter into the kingdom of God. You are killing for the sake of God. You are saying, I am killing for the sake of God. Muslim people, some people, Muslim friends, some, they say we are not killing. That's good. But you are hating other religious people. You are hating other be others' beliefs. And Hindu people, my, my friends, they are hating every time. They are killing pastors. They are destroying churches. They are killing, killing, beating up every day in India. You cannot enter into the kingdom of God. 
Bible says clearly, you are going to hell. You have to save people. You have to give them comfort. You have to, you know, give them life, food, clothes. You have to see their security. That, that's why you are here on this earth. Not to kill. Killers, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Bible says, Revelation chapter 21 verse 8 says, murderers cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Adulterers cannot into, enter the kingdom of God. And idol worshippers cannot enter into the kingdom of God. You are doing wrong, my friends. Instead of giving life, giving food, giving security, you are killing people. Please try to save people. Please try to give them life. Please try to give them food and clothes and facilities because we are receiving every day God's provision. Sun, moons, stars, heavens, earth, and growing up so many fruits and vegetables, so much we are receiving from God. My friend, if you are killing someone, you are useless. You are unable to enter into the kingdom of God. You are waste. You are killing the breath of God. You are killing God's people. That is the, that is the curse. The Bible says you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. The murderer cannot have eternal life. That's what the Bible says in 1 John, 2nd chapter, 3rd chapter, 3rd chapter, 4th chapter. And Jesus said, John, uh, Matthew chapter 5, and verse 21 through 22, if you are hating your brother, you are going to hell. You are killer, you are murderer. Please save people. You cannot give life to them. You can kill easily, but you cannot give life. But Jesus said, I came to give life abundantly, more abundantly. John's Gospel 10 and verse 10 says, I came to give life. I came to seek the lost. Luke chapter 19, 10. Jesus is right now talking with you, my friend. Don't hate your brother and sister. Haters are killing. Murderers. If you hate your brother or sister, you are killing your brother. You are killing your sister. And you have to ask forgiveness from God. God never said to kill people. God never said hate people. God says love people. Give them life. Give them facilities. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 18 and 19. Deuteronomy chapter 15, verse 9 through 11 says, Give them facilities. And, and so many verses, God says, my friends. And, and Matthew chapter 25, verse 30. 2 through 40, and also just, uh, Job chapter 31, verse 17 through 22, Exodus chapter 22, 22 to 27, Bible says. So many verses like that. Every verse saying, Lee, give them life, give them life, because I have come to give life. Jesus is life giver. He is the source of life right now. Ask forgiveness, my friends. Come to Jesus. Hatreds, come to Jesus. Murderers, come to Jesus. Adulterers, come to Jesus. Idol worshippers, come to Jesus. Repent for your sin. You cannot enter into the kingdom of God. In the hell, there is agony. There is agony crying out. Sorrow. In heaven, according to the Bible, 21, Revelation 21, verse 1 to through, whole chapter says, there is joy, peace, love. There is no death. There is no death. There is no death. There is life. Receive today. Ask for forgiveness. Ask for forgiveness, my friend. Come to Jesus, my friend. Ask for forgiveness today. And receive the love of God. Receive the forgiveness of God. And today, receive the healing to your mind, to your soul, to your body. My friends, 
those are killing people repent right now don't hate your brother if you are hating you are killing your brother killing your sister stop it right now in jesus name come to jesus convicted be convicted and repent for your sin and come to god have the eternal life have the heaven you can enjoy the presence of god today god forgive their sins those who are really repenting and convicted through the holy spirit leave give them lord forgiveness forgive their sins god and give them peace and joy and eternal life let them have and receive it right now in jesus name receive it right now in jesus name and i'm praying for those who are under pressures of satan bless them lord and give them healing give them freedom give them lord jesus you are good life and let them have it wonderful life lovely powerful victorious successful life god let them receive healing to their body deeper healing inside let wounds be healed in jesus name mind be transformed heart filled be filled with the holy ghost and do the ministry do the good things and make people happy and enter into the kingdom of god bless your people god those are watching this live program bless them lord bless them lord bless them lord in jesus name be blessed and be delivered you are blessed right now you are the child of god right now you are the child of god my friend you are in god's kingdom you are in the hand of god the wings of god is covering you you will enter into the kingdom of god that is confirmed right now because you believe jesus and trusted god you asked forgiveness for your sinful life be blessed and be increased in jesus name and you can contact me in in number 626 4108281 that is us number and also you can contact me in email m u k k a l a j g m at the rate of gmail.com and paypal j g m india at the rate of ymail.com you can enjoy the presence of god and pre- please pray for the ministry in india and our friends children in india we are reaching unreached people you can be participate in the ministry you can become partners with me and god is going to bless you abundantly and is going to pour out his blessings from heaven receive it right now in jesus name be blessed god bless you my friends see you sometime until then take